tell me first because I didn't ask you this before, but what was it like working with Jared Leto on this and especially his process? Could you tell me more about that? Yeah, it's the first time I've, I've worked with a method actor like that before. Um, I've never had that before. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's, it's very intriguing when somebody comes on, comes on set and you've never met him and, and you introduce yourself as love and he introduce himself as Neander Wallace and you've had all these thoughts and uh, in preparing for the film all these ideas and all these fantasies of how it could be, um, how that person would be and what, you, what relationship you would have. And I didn't get have the chance to talk to him about it before because I didn't meet him, right? Yeah. But it was kind of interesting because it actually gave another element to our scenes. Um, it made it more distant and awkward in a way. Um, my character was longing more of his approval, and he was a bit further away, I even think. And it was interesting. It gives a different element to the scenes, which actually was helpful <laughs> in a sense. So it was very intriguing because I'd never had that before with another actor. I've never experienced it before like that. But I mean, being offset as well, it, it while the camera wasn't rolling, mm -hmm. did it, I mean, how did it, did it just make you uncomfortable in a way? Having no. Be that way? No, because I'm... more immersed? Yeah, no, I think I respect people doing it their way. I mean, uh, I have a certain way of preparing and, uh, and, and a certain way of getting myself into the zone. And everybody has a different way of preparing and, you know, getting there um, and I think you sh should respect every single person in their uh, in their craft and no I didn't really I'm always pretty you know I can joke around but I'm always almost myself in first gear you know as I could visualize it I'm always a little bit in first gear and then when I'm on set I'll go to second third fourth fifth sixth depending on how heavy the scene is right but I'm always like a little bit on first gear, so I'm focused in a way. And sometimes I joke around, sometimes I need my space. And everybody has a different way of going about those things. And I thought it was actually pretty interesting how he uh, never left the character. Perfect. So you've had a chance to see the film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how is it different than you imagined it to be? It's just overwhelming. It's something that I've never seen in my life. It's. Um, it's definitely an, a form of art, I think. What struck you most that you weren't expecting? Hmm. Because I, I was crying at the end. It's the, the intimacy in, the, the intimate journey inside a world that we think is so far away but is actually pretty close. Hmm. I mean, do you feel it as a different spirit than the original? I think it's a different. I think it's a beast on its own. On on its own. Mm. Um, I think it's a. It has. It does. I I, re I recognize so much that later on our language from when I was young when I saw the first movie, and it you know it made me have goosebumps and just um, I was afraid and excited at the same time and it had this eeriness. It's musical eeriness, I think. And walking onto sets and seeing the movie, I had that same feeling again. So it's definitely, for me, it touches a lot of like the old um, connections that I've made with the original. But it has an elevated approach, I think. Mm.